perfect, perfect, perfect. Hello, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? We're back, another one. Uh, Splitgate week four just concluded. That would be days five and day six. Uh, it was another super weekend like the first week was. So we got two days of action for the Splitgate Pro Series. We saw some really good matchups too. Uh, we saw E United versus SSG. So the only two teams that were undefeated still, uh, they went up against each other. We'll get to that in a second. We also got to see... Kind of a middle of the pack team in T1 go up against uh, a bottom of the barrel teams, I would say, in KCP and Moist. Uh, Moist just keeps dropping. Uh, we also got to see Exet versus E United. Again, that's another key matchup. Uh, Exet, one of the previous best teams in the Winter Series, going up against a team that is the top dog right now. Uh, and continued to be the top dog after the first day of this Super Weekend. So let's get into this. First, we saw uh, Luminosity Gaming versus KCP. That was a 3-0 in favor of LG. It was pretty much no contest the entire time. Uh, th the scores were completely botched uh, towards one side. I mean, 250 to 121 on Pantheon. 60 to 53 was the closest game. Uh, and then you had a 700 to 526. Then we saw Xset versus Elevate. Uh, the TDM went 60-50. Other than that, Elevate pretty much got blown out. Uh, they did win that TDM, and that was their only win. But they lose to Xset 3-1. to one. T1 versus Moist, 3-0 in favor of T1. I thought this was going to be close after that first game. I mean, we were on Pantheon for game one, and the score was 225 to 226. Moist made some really good rotations. Just made one or two mistakes that really cost them that game towards the end there, uh, and that's the reason why they weren't able to win it, and they lost only by one point. And I said to myself, okay, this might be a, this might be a series. Moist might have woken up, and if they can beat T1, that will be massive for them, both in the power rankings and in the standings. But to no avail. They were not able to do that. They got poo-pooed on after that, pretty much, uh, for a lack of better words. Xset ended up having a good weekend. Uh, we'll get to their second matchup here in a minute. Uh, and so did T1. Then we saw EU versus Space Station Gaming. This was actually match number three. T1 and Moist were match number four. That was the last one of day five. But EU versus SSG was the most important one because you have the two teams that are in the top of the power rankings, the two teams in the top of the standings, and both undefeated teams that remain in the pro series right now. So they got to go up against each other. It was a 3-1 in favor of EU United. Now, I know last week I said that SSG, I think, is the better team. I just got EU United as the number one in the power rankings. Well, EU United, they proved that they deserve to be at number one still in the power rankings. They're still not number one in the standings overall because of the map win loss, but I think that they're the better team and they've solidified themselves as that. Maybe SSG just had a really bad day uh, and they just couldn't pick themselves up after winning that first game and then losing the second one by only two. So the scores were 241 to 238 in game one. SSG were able to win that game and that was their only win in the series they would go on to lose the next three games straight but 241 to 238 e united only losing by three on carman then they go to club silo for game two and e united wins by two 60 to 58 game three only a five point win 700 to 695 on lava well and then game number four was the largest margin of victory 236 to 202 so only a 34 point win but still, that was the largest by a mile, it looks like. I mean, they won by the, the game one was a three-point difference, then a two-point difference, and then a five-point difference. So the difference was kind of getting a little bit bigger, but we didn't expect it to be a 34-point difference. Uh, and also a very quick game number four as well. But United, they come out victorious on that. Uh, LG versus Elevate on day six. Uh, you know, looking at this on paper, you're like, eh, it doesn't really matter which team wins. But we knew that LG would come out victorious, okay? We got a lot of stock invested in LG, and I'm not ready to sell it just yet. 60 to 59 was the TDM. 700 to 256 uh, were was another map. So pretty much that TDM was close. Other than that, Elevate got whooped, man. 3-0. T1 versus KCP. 
It was 3-0. T1 kind of just clapped KCP and made easy light work of them. We saw splits. Split gate. We saw Space Station Gaming versus Moist. 3-0 for SSG. Small window of opportunity for Moist there for a moment. They got a, li a little glimpse of, of light there for a second because they only lost game one, 219 to 208. They kept SSG a little bit uncomfortable there to begin that first game. And also they kept them with, I think, SSG's lowest scoring uh <laughs> on Olympus. So they did have a small window of opportunity. And for a second there, you're like, whoa, this might be like yesterday where they were close and then they got whooped. And essentially that's what happened. They lost 60 to 44 in game two. Uh, and then 700 to 637 in game three, which, you know, that's not that one. That's not that bad in game three, but still moist uh, going 0 and 2 on this weekend. Xset versus EU. This was surprising. Yeah, we know Xset's a really good team, but we thought EU were the top dogs this split in the summer series. We thought that, you know, once they beat SSG, nothing can stop them. But Xset said, hold on now. Okay. They took them to game five and they were able to defeat them. Check this out. 212 to 210. Xset win game one. That's a two point difference. And then E United come back. They win game two decisively, 60 to 40. Then they win decisively again in game three, 700 to 342. Uh, that was on Club Silo, Helix, and Impact. Then we go to Stadium. This was E United's first time playing Stadium all season, and it showed. The rotations were very sloppy, and they weren't able to clean up any good amount of kills in the positions and situations that they needed. 210 to 184 was the score there. Exit win. They forced game five. Now we're going to game five on Lava Well, and this is where E United kind of does not have the upper hand in their TDMs. We did see them win the first one in this, but that was on Helix, a map they've played plenty of times in different game modes as well. We go to Lava Well, where they've only played, I think, once or twice before this season. They haven't done extremely well on that map. Uh, they did end up winning it earlier this season once. Then they go there again for TDM, which is a game mode that a lot of these teams are starting to struggle on. Uh, a little bit towards the later half of this season, some of them are picking it up. Uh, but the margins of victory and TDM are getting a little bit larger. This one, 13-point win for Xset, 60-47. to 47. So first time playing TDM on Lava Well for E United and also first time playing Stadium on any game mode. And they end up losing both of those uh, for the Game 4 and Game 5 victories for Xset. They will take that victory. Xset had a really good weekend. They went 2-0. This weekend, uh, United went one and one. Space Station went one and one this weekend. T1 Xset both going two and zero. Luminosity actually going two and zero this weekend as well. Uh, Elevate went zero and two. Pioneers went zero and two, and Moist went zero and two for the Super Weekend. So the bottom of the barrel teams in Elevate and Pioneers have a friend to join them now. That's Moist uh, has been down there. In my power rankings for a week or two, and people were asking me, like, why why is Moist down there? Well, Moist, it seems things have dried up for you because you're all the way down there for a reason. Uh, but there's the power rankings. Pretty much the only change was the three and four slot. I think Xset got a lot stronger because they beat E United. Uh, but if they can take down Space Station Gaming as well, that will prove that X set it deserves to be a top two team. Right now, E United Space Station Gaming still the top two dogs. E United just that slight edge because they beat SSG in the head-to-head, -head, but SSG in the standings have the advantage because of the round count and the map win percentage. But that'll be it for this week's power rankings. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We need 1,000 subs on the YouTube channel as fast as possible. We're almost there. We can hit this goal before the end of the month, I hope. Uh, next matchups will be July 9th. So you all have a great holiday if you celebrate July 4th, Independence Day for the United States. Uh, if not, enjoy the time off and enjoy the summer days. Go outside, touch some grass, and keep grinding some video games. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, hello there. It's Blue. I'm a terrible dancer, so ignore that version of me on the screen and listen to my voice when I say, 
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and of course, click on another video of mine. I heard you'll like those over there. They're pretty good. <laughs>